What's up guys, Joe with Momentum Works. Today I've got a couple turbos here that you might want to use on your Detroit 12.7 liter. I've got a stock turbo, the GT42. I've got a K31, which is an upgrade a lot of you guys like to use. And the S400, aka the 702 that everyone's in love with. You probably think that one of these would be best for your 12.7 liter. I don't think so. Best one for your 12.7 liter is the new girl on the block, which is the Ultra 12.7 liter upgrade. I know, I know, you can't just go calm things the best. So let's take a step back. Let's talk about each turbo and then we'll get into the upgrade and why I do think it is the best for your 12.7 liter. So what I have here on my left, your right, is the stock turbo. This is a Garrett GT4294, very stout turbo, worked really good. Uh, what a lot of guys like to do is upgrade their 12.7 liters, obviously. So the two turbos from Borg Werner that I have here, the K31 and the S400, these are usually the turbos that guys use as an upgrade on the 12.7 liter. The K31, uh, this is a 71 millimeter billet compressor wheel, works really well. It's 71 by 102, I believe. Um, the S400 is a 75 millimeter by 100 cast wheel. So this is a larger wheel, a larger inducer by about four millimeters, and it's also cast instead of billet. And guys, don't get lost in the sauce here. Uh, billet versus cast doesn't make a huge difference. The billet might be slightly stronger, but you know, realistically, these things aren't blunders. They're meant to be moving air, not to be getting hit with particles. So strength of there doesn't really matter as much. Both of these units are waste gated. Your S400 is not waste gated. So why would you wanna use certain turbos in one area or the other? Well, the K31 spools up really good. Guys love it, but they're always looking for more power. So they end up going with the 171702. The problem with the 171702 is that the 12.7 liter just doesn't have the gusto to spin the larger 96 millimeter turbine wheel that is in this turbo. So let's talk about that as well. You've got a 96 millimeter turbine, you've got an 84 millimeter turbine and an 82 millimeter turbine. So there is some drastic difference here. These are a little bit closer than this one. So realistically, for a stock 12.7, the upgrade you really would want to go with would be the Borg K31 over the 17.17.02. Now, what if you wanted the power of the 17.17.02, but you wanted the quick spool up of the K31? Well, that's why we came up with this. What we have here is what we've dubbed the Ultra 12.7 liter turbo. And this is a hybrid, we call it a hybrid of a GT42 and a K31. Um, and that's basically because we took the best aspects of each of the turbos that you see here and we've implemented them into this turbo. So let's talk about it. This Borg Warner has a 75 millimeter wheel, which is great for top end power. So we put a billet 75 millimeter wheel into our ultra turbo. So you're getting the billet from the K31 and you're getting the larger inducer. We put them back in. Now, as far as compressor cover, the K31 cover is very bulky, so we're using the GT42 style cover. Now, going back into the turbine side, we are using the smaller turbine that you would find in the GT42 because it's extremely efficient. Garrett's been using the GT42 turbine for a very long time. It's very well designed. It's very robust as far as what it can handle. So the smaller turbine against the larger turbine, this is actually gonna spool up, whereas your S400 would normally be laggy. As far as the exhaust housing, we're using a 1.15 AR, which I know you're gonna say, hey, Joe, that's really tight. You bet your ass it's really tight, but that's why we put a wastegate on the setup so that you get that quick spool like a K31, but when you get up to 45 pounds of boost, and we're gonna to touch on that later, the wastegate is fully open at that point so that you don't overspool or damage the turbo or run the compressor outside of its map. Let's talk about the wastegate actuators quick while we're here. So the GT42 and the K31 and our turbo, these wastegate actuators are gonna start to open around 28 to 30 PSI. So that's just when they start to open. And then at the point that they're fully open, 40 pounds, 40 pounds, 45 pounds. So this isn't to say that either one of these turbos couldn't make more than 40 pounds. It's just at 40 pounds, the wastegate is fully open. Whereas on our hybrid turbo, that wastegate, it's got a little bit more length to it. It's got a little bit more uh, depth, I guess you could say. Basically, you've got another five pounds there before that gate is fully open. So it gives you a little bit more controllability. 
As with all Momentum Works branded performance turbos, this thing does come with our one year unlimited warranty, which we call also our no bullshit warranty. Within the first year, for any reason at all, we will replace this turbo if you have a turbo failure. Even if we know it's your fault, we will still cover it because we stand behind our products. On top of that, I'm really willing to put my money where my mouth is. We're gonna do a 10 day, 100% money back guarantee on this turbo. You buy this turbo, within 10 days, if you let us know that you're not completely satisfied with it, send it back, we'll give you a full refund. I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find anyone that has that much faith in this particular turbo for an application that they're gonna do that. And I really wanna get this out there. I know it's gonna work, so I'm gonna do it. So if you want one of these turbos, this is your chance to, to give it a go with virtually no strings attached. All right, so let's just do one quick recap here. And again, this video is not to say that any of these turbos are bad. Each one has their own positives where they shine. We're just saying that we've taken all the positives that we could and we've shoved them into one turbo. So let's talk about them all real quickly. Briefly, you've got your stock GT4294 turbo. Great turbo for the stock truck. Uh, it's got a smaller compressor wheel in it. It's only a 71 by 94. K31, great little upgrade. It spools up great, but it's not gonna have a ton of top end power. S400 has a ton of top end power, but it's not gonna spool up great on your stock or lightly modified 12.7 liter. And then of course, our ultra turbo, which is gonna spool up great, make good top end power. You know, really best bang for your buck as far as an upgrade for your stock 12.7 or lightly modified 12.7.